Hi, I'm Tani Sorensen. Hi, I'm Natasha Leo. If you could tell us about your first meeting or project together. So, Orange is the New Black. I, I think it was the first episode of uh, season one, somewhere somewhere in 2012. Mm -hmm. I do remember that I she was there the whole time. Cafeteria. I feel like ah. it was a cafeteria scene was the first time I was there at Orange. Was um, it for me or was it was it me and other people or just me? At the beginning it was just you and then it was me and 20 people. Orange is the New Black is a giant ensemble. Anybody that's in that show is also a background actor uh, because there's these giant scenes where you just have to sit there and watching the actions way over there. And there's 50 ensemble yeah. at the same time. And but on a given day, do you sometimes do uh, multiple? You're standing in for multiple people? I've been in there for seven people and sometimes within the same scene, so it's very confusing. That's a type of infidelity, one might say. <laughs> um, but you were always my number one. Oh, Tawny. Tawny's like incredible. You know, Tawny does not fuck around, you know? So there's no text messaging or disappearing to the bathroom, you know? A production is such a tight ship that's all about kind of like timing. And you really want a stand-in that's gonna be able to really help you get your shot correctly. That's gonna be able to help you really set it up the way you want it to be. And I think what we tried to do, because from day one, they really tried to get second team to really be on the ball to anticipate what you need, because there's not enough time to fool around. Like, I wait before we're back and from lunch on my mark and ready to go. And they think that's really funny, they make fun of me, but like. For being so professional. Yeah. <laughs> that's just a smart thing that they're doing, making but funny. But the other day they were looking at me, everyone's like, yeah. where's Tawny, where's Tawny? And everyone's like, did you look on the monitor? Cause she's literally <laughs> sitting there. That's Tawny. Do you know all the lines for the day? How um, off book are you on a given day? It depends on the show because some some assistant directors will not have you touch lines. So you have to be very respectful of the team and what they require of you and what they would like you to do. So for Russian Doll, I memorized as soon as I got there. Everything. I wanted to be ready. But there so. were so much lines. There were so much lines and so many evolving lines and changing lines. Oh my god, that <laughs> so show is such a beast. To me. When we, <laughs> I would look at things that I had written that were just like this and I was like, who needs to say all this? Where did this come yeah, from? <laughs> I would literally show up and just be like, eh, change my mind, scratch that. <laughs> I think that for me, it was very thrilling as a director to see Tawny in the monitor. There was something very just real about the fact that I could trust her sort of like instincts and placement to almost then kind of follow up into it. Uh, and what was so funny about it is that then after Rush and I was, you know, uh, done doing Orange is the New Black this year, and I remember that it was like, you know, Nikki's just kind of around. Nikki's an ensemble player. And I'd just be like, Tony. It was like <laughs> we had this shorthand that was so sort of specific to having just spent kind of like four months in the real of trenches. Yeah. That it was just, I think it was sort of funny for people that we had such a kind of special relationship and like deep history now. Yeah, because, that was a big thing. We were like, it's yeah. a secret and they'll never know yeah. <laughs> what we've survived through. Yeah. <laughs>